Are you alright? I've been trying to wake you up for so long. Alice, I have the nightmare again. Some woman is calling me. She needs my help. Her face seems familiar, but my mind's hazy. Alice, I didn't mention it earlier, but I recall almost nothing from my past. When you were a little baby, I was one of those unlucky people captured by the darkness. The people in Clifftown brought me back to life, but I don't recall anything prior to that time. Look, we need to leave the Forbidden City. But you said that darkness wouldn't come here. Can we be safe? We can't be safe anywhere, and I'm worried that the Sacuums will learn about your bird of fire, and then, most likely, they take you away to do some research. I need to remember my past. In the desert, he's a healer, and he preserves the ancient wisdom. Let's go see him. What if the hermit can help me remember? It's so empty here. Allison, let's look for a means of transport to get to the Sunland Oasis.
vehicle of the ancients. The Sacculans figured out its mechanism. We'll use it to get to the southern oasis quickly. Get into the car. I'll show you how it works. I lived a simple life with my father on our farm. One day I found a strange little box holding an egg in the river. A bird of fire hatched from it and flew into my body, leaving a burn mark on my arm. I told my father right away, and he said that nothing good would come out of this. Alas, he was right. Soon after the event, some unfamiliar soldiers came after me. Father managed to save me, but he paid for it with his life. I was forced to leave my home and go to my only kin, Colin, my uncle on my mother's side. I had no idea he existed until this tragedy befell me. Colin and I left the B.O. Glen Valley. On our way, we came across a dark knight who summoned darkness to kill me. All of a sudden, a strange thing happened. The bird of fire swooshed out of the image on my arm and saved us. We managed to hide in the cliff town where the Sacumes live. Still, the darkness kept approaching. One of its castles was situated on the border of the Fertile Lands, threatening all living beings. Yet again, owing to the bird of fire and the nature of its flames, we managed to destroy the castle. We've won another battle, but the darkness has not been beaten. Now I am certain it has been pursuing me because of the bird of fire in my arm. As long as we know so little about its flames, we must remain extremely careful.
The hermit's hut. I hope he's home. Hmm, Colin, the door's locked from the inside. Why isn't anyone opening? 